Welcome to 1.9's Math Moment. In fifth grade math today, we learned about how to add and subtract numbers with mixed numbers. Vanessa rode her horse for two and one-fifth hours on Monday and four and two-tenths hours on Friday. How many hours did Vanessa ride her horse this week? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look for my key numbers. So I have two and one-fifth hours, and I have four and two-tenths hours. I know my label is going to be hours, so I always underline that for my answer as well. How many hours did she ride this week? Tells me I need to go ahead and add those together. So I'm going to take my two and one-fifth plus my four and two-tenths. We've talked about several different strategies for finding a common denominator. There's another strategy that we've talked about in fifth grade, which is called the shortcut method. You can look and see if the smaller fraction can equal the larger fraction in this case. You can take 5 times 2, which gives me 10. So if I take 5 times 2, I get 10. Now we can see both of these denominators are the same, so I can add them. If I do it to the bottom, I have to do it to the top. 1 times 2 is 2. I take 2 tenths plus 2 tenths, which is 4 tenths. When I add my whole numbers over here, I have 2 plus 4, which is 6. My answer is 6 and 4 tenths hours. That's how long Vanessa rode her horse this week. The next question says Robert spent 7 and 1 half hours doing yard work and 2 and 4 fifths hours washing windows at his grandmother's house. He's supposed to work for 12 hours. How many more hours does Robert need to work? This is actually a two-step problem. We have to figure out how much Robert has worked and then how much more he needs to work. So we know that he's worked 7 and 1 half hours and we know that he has worked 2 and 4 fifths hours. Let's figure out how much he's worked total so far. To do that, I need to go ahead and add. So I'm going to take my 7 and my 1 half plus my 2 and 4 fifths. As I can see, I do not have the same denominator. I need to make them the same. I'm going to use the strategy where I take them by the opposite denominator. I'm going to take 5 times 2 and 2 times 5. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10. 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10. When I add these together, I get 5 plus 3 is 13 tenths. I have 7 plus 2, which is 9. As you can see, I've got a improper fraction, which I have to convert to a mixed number. So I need to take 13 divided by 10. 10 can go into 13 one time. 1 times 10 is 10. When I subtract 13 minus 10, I get 3. Nothing left to bring down, so this becomes my remainder in my numerator, my 3, and then my 10 is for my divisor. So I've got 1 and 3 tenths, which I need to now add to my 9. So I've got 10 and 3 tenths hours which Robert has worked. But the question doesn't ask me how many hours he's worked. It asks me how many more does he need to work. So I need to take my 12 hours minus my 10 and 3 tenths. So I'm going to go up here and work a little bit more so I have a little more room. So I'm going to take my 12 minus my 10 and 3 tenths. As we talked about in the previous lesson, we don't have a fraction over here. So we need to make, we need to borrow from our whole number. This is going to become an 11 I'm going to have that whole is going to become a whole over here, which is 10 tenths. 10 tenths minus 3 tenths is 7 tenths. 11 minus 10 is 1. So Robert needs to work 1 and 7 tenths more hours to complete his 12 hours at his grandmother's house. If you have any questions, ask your teacher. Good luck with lesson 1.9 homework.